Hi guys, welcome back once again to Melanie Lynn. This is Alondra and today I'm going to speak about New York stories. Stuff that I went through while I was living in New York. Some of them are really bittersweet, some of them are really fun. And I feel like you guys will take advantage, at least laugh with me or not feel bad, but like, <laughs> I don't know. How, however you want to take it, just take it. But I feel like it's going to be a great thing to share that with you guys because I'm pretty sure you're going to crack up with what I'm about to tell you. All right. With any further delay, let's get into it. So while I was living in New York City, I went through couple stuff that I never experienced in my life before like smoking weed for the first time or kissing under the rain for the first time ever but I went through a couple of stuff that uh, they were very unique and I feel like not everybody will go through that but I don't know be the judge right so one of the first thing no, let me get my list. Oh my god, this is so funny. Alright, the first thing that I ever went through in New York is that once I moved there, a week later, I went on my first date ever in New York. And, yeah. <laughs> it was a great experience. I went on the day. It wasn't that good. It wasn't a good day. It was the worst day of my life. But, I'm gonna keep it rolling because I don't want to get into detail when it comes to that. It was the worst date of my life, but the thing is that once the day ended, I got on my subway around uh, midnight, and I was a little bit scared because I wasn't um, very knowledgeable when it comes to the subway and getting around yet, because I just got there. That was my first week ever. And now um, I found out that the train was running local, which is a common thing in New York. Some trains will run local during the nighttime, and during the daytime they will run express. So, um, yeah, I got to my station, I got out, I see people walking two directions, and I went with my gut feeling. I, I was like, I don't know where I'm going, but I hope that I'm going down the road that I'm supposed to go. The thing with the place that I was living at is that both ways for me to get there were very similar. And also, being New York, so... Like having so many high buildings and stuff, I feel like everything looks the same. At that time, I was living in Diamond. Everybody that is from New York know what Diamonds is about. That was a Sunday night. Um, Diamond usually have a lot of places full of people drinking and everything, but that was a Sunday night. But it wasn't much going on. And it was also 2 a.m. when I got there. So I started walking this direction. My apartment was here, the station was right here, and I started walking this way. I walked this way and then I took a ride and I keep walking, walking and 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 walking. I didn't have a code. At the time I didn't have a code that will fully keep me warm. And I had high heels, clear, um, see-through tights, a skirt, and, and a normal shirt similar to this one, and I was walking and walking, walking and walking in the cold without a jacket that was keeping me warm at 2 a.m. in a neighborhood that wasn't that safe. I just kept walking and seeing creepy people and pray that nothing will happen to me. Finally, I found my way back home, asking people around, but it took me half hour walking on the cold with heels without a coat. If it does not a rough welcome to New York, I don't know what else is. 
that's just, that was just traumatizing for me. It took me a while to get over that. I didn't want it to even date, but it's not even the day. I feel like you have to be very selective when it comes to the people that you go out. Um, I feel like the fact that the day wasn't good and that I went through that make everything worse, but hey, I don't recommend that experience to anyone. Let's keep it going. So the next one, let me watch my list right here. Um, oh fuck, I got into my first fight ever. Oh my God, this is some juicy information. Um, so I remember that my roommates, they were having a Halloween party and they told me about it. And I was like, I don't know how I feel about you guys having a party here, you know? I was supposed to work that day. I didn't want anybody to be having sex in my room. Because that happens a lot. You know, like people sneak into rooms and they have sex and I'm very picky. And I haven't even... Okay. <laughs> Cut it off. And... Um, I don't know, like I was skeptical about it, like I'm not a party girl, I'm, I can be out and about, but somewhere else, I don't like to have the party in my place, you know, but that was fine, okay, so the day arrived, I was working, I got out of work, and I got to the house around, around 1am, when I got there, everybody's late. Everybody's lit, having a great time, and everybody's having a great time. Everybody's dancing, and I'm like, oh my god, I got over overwhelmed for a minute. The first thing that I see when I walk in is my ex, and I'm like, what the fuck? Anyway, let's keep it rolling. The whole thing was very awkward because he was there. I don't even know. Let's forget about him. What? Whatever. So. I felt very overwhelmed about the whole thing. Everybody was having a great time. And I am this one. I am the type of person that I stay in the background. I analyze what everybody's doing. And then I join them. Why? Because at that point, I already got out of my shelf. So everybody's, everything is cool. Everybody's having a great time. I start having a great time. And I see this girl doing the most. Like, I don't know in what type of drugs she was, but she was dancing with everyone. People were sucking her titties in front of everybody. And next thing you know, she was doing the same thing to a guy that had his girlfriend there. And the girlfriend told her, hey, do not give him a lap dance. Give it to me. You know, like trying to like keep it cool and everything. And the girl say, I don't give a fuck. I do whatever I want. When I tell you this guy, this girl is pregnant and she pulled her down to the fucking floor. Yo, everything paused. Everything was in slow motion and I was like, what the fuck? So they separated them. They took the pregnant girl to the bathroom. Yeah, you guys are going to be like, what is a pregnant girl doing there? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like fun should be equal. Just be careful. Whatever. Um, no judgment. I don't like to judge. So, same. And everything calmed down. But the girl, she keep, tri she keep tripping, bro. And I'm like, I, you getting out of control. And I'm not having it. Like, you already disrespect this girl. I'm not having this in my place. Okay. So, they took her down to the second floor. Um, in the second floor, my neighbor were really friends with us, and they were having they were they were having the party with us as well. And I remember towards the end, they were trying to kick everybody out so we can go to bed, cause our apartment was just two story apartments. So because of that, whatever happened on the second floor, we kind of hear it. And since we were having the party on the on both floor, literally. We wanted to kick everybody out so we can go to bed. That was, that was the plan. So the girl, like we, everybody from upstairs got kicked out, which was our apartment. And then we went to the second floor trying to kick everybody out so we can fully go to bed. So this girl, she kept tripping. She kept tripping and tripping. And she goes, my, my roommate, 
uh, which is the sweetest girl in the world, she's trying to tell her, hey, um, I feel like you need to go home or go to bed, whatever. And she's trying to pull this guy away from her who is trying to who is trying to take advantage of the condition that she's at and the girl comes on my roommate trying to fight her i was like oh hell no we're not having this right here not to my roommate you're not we're not doing this we're not about this life right now when i tell you i start fighting this girl i don't know what happened i don't fight i that's not myself but i don't like to see injustice i hate it i hate it i start fighting this girl and they pull us apart and i'm like i'm gonna fuck you up i'm sick of your bullshit you're so disrespectful whatever so they pull us apart and i'm telling them that i'm quiet that i'm okay i'm gonna go upstairs i grab my sneakers and i throw them just like cardi b did to fucking cardi b i had my moment i was like oh shit oh shit oh shit i did the cardi b move i did cardi b move whatever <laughs> so then i'm like okay i'm fine i'm fine i'm going home i'm getting up and i'm like yeah i'm going home whatever when they left me go and I was heading toward the door, I came back and I started fighting her again. Because I wanted to. I wanted to because I, I, at that point, I have so much anger that I needed to let it out. So, um, at that, in that moment, my ex grabbed, grabbed me and pulled me to the kitchen. And I'm like, I'm going to fuck you up, bitch. I'm throwing bottles. I'm going ham and cheese and everything. Okay. So they pull her to the hallway. And I'm in the kitchen on the second floor. So for me to go home, I have to pass through the hallway. And they were like, okay, everybody needs to go. Let me take a laundry home, whatever. And my Rex is taking me to the third floor and she's on the hallway and this guy is hugging her towards the wall so that way she don't try to find me and my ex is taking me this way so i don't try to fight her but she grabbed she got the audacity to try to grab me what so in that moment, my ex let me go a little bit and I smack her in the face with such much, with such more, with, with so much strength that my thumb stay numb for a week. That's how hard it was. When I tell you that night was epic, it was fucking epic. I will never forget that day, ever in my life. And I, it, it was last October, October 2018. And, I'm, and today is May 19 and I'm still talking about it. And now and then that memories come to my mind and I'm like, bro, I, we have fun, like a lot of fun. But let's keep it rolling. The next one that I wanted to talk about was uh, 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 uh. Um, one day I invited my friend over and we are just having a great time and in my building you were able to go to the rooftop but it was a little bit complicated to get there but you can get there you know and we got up there and we're just talking, you know, sitting down. Next thing you know, we look back to the building behind, uh, behind us. And there's this old guy jerking off. I'm like, what the heck? What the heck? Like, what are you doing? We try to hide to see if he would stop. He wouldn't. What? I, I never seen such thing. I, I feel like you can go through that anywhere, but just because it's New York, it make it a little bit more interesting, let's say. Yeah, whatever. And last thing that I wanted to talk about is the day that I was out and about 
and I got into an Uber. Yes, I got into an Uber and I had an Uber pool. In New York, you can have Uber pool, you can have your uh, Uber for yourself, or you can have uh, Uber XL, which is a bigger one, just in case you have a lot of people or you're trying to carry some stuff. So, um, I got into my Uber and we got in there. Um, 10 minutes into the ride, I start feeling like I needed to pee. And everything got worse and worse and worse and worse. I was in the lower west side of Manhattan and I live uptown in Washington Heights. That's a distance about 40 minutes having a pole because you have to stop and stuff like that. When I tell you I was holding my pee so hard and trying to forget about it in such a way that I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I remember when we hit Harlem, I was riding with a girl and I was so desperate that I told her, hey, I'm so sorry, but would you mind if I tell the driver to stop so I can pee? And she was like, no, that's fine. Go do your thing. When I tell you, I took the, I got out of the Uber and I pulled my pants down and I started peeing on the sidewalk. Everybody that knows me knows how fucking classy I am. I would never do such thing, ever. Why? Because I'm a lady. I gotta keep it classy, you know? But you gotta do what you gotta do, boo-boo. I pulled my pants, yeah, and I started peeing in the sidewalk. If that's not the most ratchet thing that I have ever done in my life, I don't know what else is. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so embarrassed, but hey, no judgment. You gotta do what you gotta do. So that's it. Just four short story about stuff that I went through in New York. Hopefully you guys laugh with me. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Thank you. Oh, crap.